You're an inspiration to me. Let's celebrate life. Life has just begun for me. You're an inspiration. Oh, life. Let's celebrate life. Just begun. Rejoice for life. Inspiration to me. Inspiration. For creation of life, you're a pillar to me. Back in the day, it was like popular, you know, and um, it was a popular thing in the neighborhood. So everybody wanted to practice dancing, things like that, and uh, so they could show each other what skills they got, you know. And there was a lot of music videos that were very popular uh, and hip hop. And um, everyone wanted to be a part of that. You know, you saw someone do a move and it looked hot to you, so you kind of copied it and then you uh, tried to do what you can do with it. Your next friend tried to do what you could do. We danced with each other, kept building on different moves, you know, uh, things like that. There was no uh, teacher. It was more of a, a, a social thing for the neighborhood, in all neighborhoods back then, you know? Well, that kind of happened, that experience of someone influencing me happened like twice, like a major, major impact to me. And um, the first time was my cousin, he was a hip hop dancer. I, till this day, I never saw no one move like him, you know. And then, as I got a little older, it was uh, Khalif Sellers was the biggest influence in um, influence in my dance career from the first time I ever saw him in the video. I, I wanted to be as good as that, you know. So that really inspired me to. Um, go out and come home and have my mom scream at me, you know? But it didn't stop me, you know? And that was my, uh, after him it was, I was on my way, you know? I'm still, of course, I'm dancing, but, you know, I'm not really uh, trying to run in a club and uh, battle half the club anymore, no. You know. First, I dance in my head, so I'm always dancing. That's the way I am. I always think about how I could do a technique better or get, make myself better, make it look better. Think about how can I make myself and the song look more correct, more pretty, uh, more exact. So I'm always dancing in my head. It's just a matter of my physical body moves, you know. It's the way how I approach, how I want to hear the music. Different uh, storytelling modes, you know. It's about telling a story. I'm a dancer first, you know. That's my whole uh, connection with the music. So, um, that means the uh, most to me first is dancing, you know, having fun. Well, I took a, a little break from uh, dancing in uh, around 2000, but I always kept the music close to me and, you know, listening to radio shows. And and I remember I found the old uh, turntable and I just started buying little uh, records for a dollar, two dollars, you know, R&B records with classics on them. And uh, 
I didn't see Q for a long time. And, and then I ran into him one day. He told me he was going record shopping. And I had heard of a record store in New York. But I didn't have hardly any, I didn't have any records. I had all old records. And um, we went and I remember started buying records like from there. And I wasn't always a uh, D DJ, no. I had another friend who was already DJing and um, he used to come by and he used to spin his records on my equipment. And um, I used to be like, I want to be able to do that, you know? So I started practicing and more at home. And then I started meeting up with uh, David S, uh, Nikuri, Ruben Candelaria, and uh, and DJ Q, and we all mixed records together, you know, just to hang out, and um, that was fun, you know. It was like every weekend we would meet up, you know, and play for hours, and that's where it first started for me as as DJing, you know. We used to meet up at Dave's house, David S. We used to meet with him. He had a best tech mixer, two techniques, nice sound system, compressor, and we would we would play, man. That we would, that's how we came up with the name Exchange Blaze, you know, because we were exchanging records, and at the same time, we were getting better every week. We used to play record for record, you know, and we were kind of like getting better and better and better. Q was already established; he was already a DJ for years, like you know. And um, that's where we came up with the concept exchange place. Because we would meet up and we were all playing new records. Oh, you heard this, you heard that. And, um, you know, and blending the records together. It, sort of exchanging, you know. That's how we came up with that name. My taste in music is all because of my taste in dancing, you know. So mostly the stuff that I play is stuff that I want to get busy to. Or certain times, uh, if I'm DJing, um, you just feel the mood needs to be changed. You need to calm it down. You need songs of words. You need more high tempo. You need more spiritual tracks. You need more, you know, um, it's my first, uh, um, the first thing I think of is actually what I, what I'm, what I'm feeling in that room, you know, DJ. And um, what I know when I'm on the dance floor, what I want. <clears throat> you know, I, I, and one of the most things is I want a bridge, you know. I don't, <clears throat> as a dancer, I don't want to be told what to do. I don't want songs to tell me what to do. So I want total freedom, you know. I want to meet and match the, the music, you know. I want to be the same with the music, so yeah. I'm a uh, dancer, you know. Um, when I first started uh, working on uh, producing my own tracks, Everything was based around me dancing. If I could dance the way I wanted, the way I wanted to, then I was okay with the track, you know? So um, that's the way I structure my songs. Um, that's how I do it. It's based upon what, uh, how I can get open and the different realms that I choose to get open on, you know? And that's just me, you know? I haven't graduated to that era where I could just make a, a beautiful track for the whole world, you know? It's a, it's a progress, you know? You know, but um, yeah, I'm a dancer first. For me, the most important thing is um, being able to tell a story with the music you're playing and relay information and uh, from record to record or from song to song and uh, 
bridge them together where it's a stepping process of a building point. And then you could go back down and you go back up and then you go, you know, kind of like storytelling, you know. That's the most important thing for me, DJ. Let's celebrate life. Life has just begun for me. You're an inspiration. Oh, life. Let's celebrate life. Inspiration to me, inspiration to me.